Well, we are right in the middle of a massive plain, and we actually came looking for hyenas, but instead we found some elephants. We did see one hyena, and I will take you to the den, and it's going to be quite a shock for a lot of people because the dens here are very, very different. Now look at that beautiful big herd of Ellie's heading across the open grasslands. Okay, Dave, I'm going to do the, the jump mm. so I'm not in your way. So I've just got to, to scuttle across my, um, my, my, my turret. There we go. Okay, scuttling across. There we go. And see that lovely herd of Ellie's now. How many do you reckon? Oh, probably about 25 to 30 elephants. Beautiful. Now, I was hoping one of the little hyena cubs would pop his head up while we were sitting here looking at the elephants, but no such luck. So this big open area that the Ellie's are walking through now, and uh, it's it's quite a large one between the river road and the escarpment road. And uh, this is a, a big swamp mostly during the, the wet season. And it's not so bad at the moment, but uh, oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Having a, an air scratch while wandering. And there we go. And then, oh, some topi in the distance as well. Far, far in the distance. And there's the bull. Now, Lauren in Illinois is wondering what makes elephants uh, more curious than other animals. Uh, you probably find it's got a lot to do, if you, if you look at the most curious animals, they've got more complex family structures. So hyenas, elephants, um, and also just because they're so big, there's very little that can, can threaten them. Uh, that can also help with their, sorry, curio probably with their curiosity. But isn't this ab absolutely ex exquisite? Okay, I'm just going to jump down into my turret quickly and uh, reverse back to show you guys something. Now, as I was saying, this is a big swampy area, and uh, but I've got a nickname for it already. I'm just trying to remember how to say the, cor the, the, the correct name. Let me just go. Bye, Ellie's. Oh, we've got to be careful. There are lots of big holes around here. Yeah? You know? Oh, you see that there, Dave? Can you get yeah. that little hole there? Now... That little hole right next to us there, that little tiny bit of shade, is actually a hyena hidey hole where they can sleep away from the sun. So this is the North Clan territory. And uh, the North Clan is the biggest clan close to, to camp. And there are around 90 known individuals in the clan. Now, when we've seen hyena dens in the Sabi Sands, you know, those big prominent termite mounds, um, very easy to spot from a distance quite often. But if you have a look here, to the right of us, this is what a hyena den looks like in the Mara. Okay, I just need to come out of my tone. Sorry for making wobbles, Dave. Okay, so there we go. Let me just find a spot. There we go. So this is what a hyena den looks like here. Oh, I... So, Ricky, I think it was hyenas. I, I had a bit of a break up there. But do they give birth in dens or in open ground? They give birth in dens under the ground. So, what they'll have a pregnancy den normally uh, where they'll give birth away from the main part of the clan. This is not. This is a nursery, nursery den. So, there are a lot of hyenas. So, once the hyenas get to a certain age, this is where they'll bring them. So, there we go. You can see there's a buffalo skull. Um, that's been there. There we did see one little one pop his head up when we first arrived, but they're, they're being a bit shy. And there we go. I just wanted to check the. There we go. The old Punyata Plain, or the old Punyata Swamp, is the area we're in. And um, I said, I've got a, I've got a nickname for it. I quite like it. Well, you, you like it, Dave. So I'm going to get Dave. So you can see basically this whole area 
from the edge of the escarpment right down if we keep going all the way down to the Mara River and there are elephant friends in the, in the distance again um, I've nicknamed the clan lands because literally with with any animal that makes a slight noise of distress there's the 10 or 15 heads that just pop out of the grass anywhere around here I mean there's 90 odd hyenas in this clan it is absolutely massive and I can't wait for the, the, the our other vehicles to arrive with our nocturnal setup because this particular clan when the wildebeest aren't here hunt hippo and buffalo. So imagine that incredible, like 30 hyenas running around chasing a hippo in a big open plain. It is going to be some spectacular viewing. And I think we're going to start seeing uh, a lot of behavior that we've never seen before. And the other very, very interesting thing about this, this whole hyena behavior here is that the hyenas here are all smaller than the ones in the Sabi Sands. So apparently the further south you go, the bigger the hyenas get. Now I'm not 100% sure why yet. Uh, I'm trying to find out. But it could be just due to the fact that the clan sizes here are so big that uh, they don't need to get that size because when there's 90 of you in a mob, there's pretty much nothing that's going to stop you. And uh, another bit of, oh, look, 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 petrol patch testicular. There's a new bird for a bunch of people. Come on, pop your head up now, pectoral patch testicular. It's, or is it a testicular? I can't really see it now. Ooh. Looked like one. Psst, psst. Oh, that, there's not, there, that's not a testicular. That's, oh, you see on that open bit of ground there, Dave? Oh, uh, yeah. What have we got there? Oh, it's a little seed eater. Oh, it looks... Oh, come on, turn, your, turn yourself. Look at, it looks like a little zebra finch. Um, let me just double check on that for everyone. But there's another a new bird for everyone. And pop, maybe even a new bird for me. I think I'm pretty sure what it is. Well, it'll be a new bird for my trip to the Mara. It is an African quail finch. Sorry, I meant quail finch, not zebra finch. An African quail finch. That looks to be the female there. And uh, isn't that exciting? Now, we're going to keep moving. The hyenas are not here. They said the, uh, from chatting to the researchers, the den sites tend to only really get active after dark. And all these little bushes around here are probably where the hyenas are sleeping because there is no cover around the den. So we're going to keep moving. I think we might have a couple of surprises still in store for you from Kenya. But while we do that, James has got something you're definitely never going to see in Kenya. And if you do, it's very lost.